Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another evening of Conroe ISD High School football. I'm David Laney, and tonight we are here at beautiful Wood Forest Bank Stadium in Shenandoah, Texas, where the Grand Oaks Grizzlies will be taking on the Cleveland Indians. This will be the final game of the 6A Region 2 District 13 season for these two teams, and the last game of the high school career for the seniors who will be playing on the field tonight. The Grizzlies are led by head coach Aaron Johnson, while Carrero Silva will be leading the Indians. We'll continue with our pregame activities. Okay, this is senior night for the Grand Oaks Grizzlies. Let me quickly run down the uh, cheerleaders and drill team. And uh, uh, others were introduced before halftime. Let me quickly run down through the seniors for their football team. Tristan Howell, number six, Tristan Towell, number eight, Braden Bradley, number 12, Trenton Warzon, number 14, Tristan Browse, number 15, Preston Sample, number 16, Micaiah Williams, Number 18, Teron Diggs. Number 23, Gabe Zamora. Number 24, Brian Hanks. Number 36, Gerardo Melendez. Number 41, Will Yeager. Number 42, Cade Mertens. Number 44, Chris Kodak. Number 46, Parker Germinden. Number 47, Devin Salas. Number 48, Noah Langridge. Number 52, Asaya Hubbard. Number 55, Brian Tang. Number 70, Javon Williams. Number 71, William Yang. Number 77, Ty Lott. Number 92, Brandon Martin. And number 99, Camden Phillips. Those are your seniors for the Grand Oaks Grizzlies. We'll continue with our pregame activities.
This is Donnie Buckaloo with Buckaloo Chevrolet. After two and a half years, I'm proud to say we have new Chevrolets in stock today and are receiving new inventory daily. At Buckaloo Chevrolet, what you see is what you get. We don't charge market adjustments or added equipment you don't want. The price you see is the price you pay, so don't pay over MSRP. On I-45 in Conroe or shop BuckalooChevrolet.com. It's a better buy at Buckaloo. It's not enough to be the leader in robotic-assisted procedures if we're not by your side for every step of your recovery, guiding you back to what makes you, you. Because it's not enough to replace your knee if we're not getting you to the moments that can't be replaced. Memorial Hermann, advancing health, personalizing care. Shopping for a new or used vehicle? Or just looking for a place for good, reliable service? Go with the name you know. Gullo Ford, Gullo Mazda, and Gullo Toyota. The Gullo family has been serving the Conroe Woodlands area since 1970. So the next time you're shopping for a new or used vehicle or just need service, do yourself a favor and go see Gullo Toyota, Gullo Mazda, and Gullo Ford. Or log on anytime at GulloAuto.com. Gullo, let's drive. You've got a lot going on, so how do you find time to take care of you? At Houston Methodist, we work around your busy life. There's same-day visits when you're sick, online scheduling with specialists, access to all your records through my chart, and video visits 24-7 if you need urgent care. Bringing you Houston Methodist's expertise, wherever, whenever you need it. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. For over 40 years, Wood Forest National Bank has proudly supported the youth and schools of this great community. Our bank has grown through the years, and Montgomery County is our home. With over 30 convenient branch locations right here in Montgomery County, we are your community bank. Next time you're in the area, stop by and say hi. But for now, sit back and enjoy the game. This is one of two games being played tonight and streamed on the Conroe ISD Sports Channel on YouTube. The Conroe Tigers are at home tonight up the road by 45 in Buddy Moorhead Stadium taking on the College Park Cavaliers. And that is a must win game for the, for the Conroe Tigers if they want to remain in the playoff chase. Again, that game is also being streamed on the Conroe ISD Sports YouTube channel.
Okay, as we await the coin toss, let me go over another game that I did mention earlier, a very important game being played tomorrow night. That is the Oak Ridge War Eagles taking on the Willis Wildcats. That game will be played right here at Wood Forest Bank Stadium. Again, streamed on the Conroe ISD Sports net YouTube channel and that game has significant playoff ramifications we'll talk a little bit about those after the coin toss Cleveland has won the toss and elected to receive. All right, there you have it. The Cleveland Indians have won the toss and chose to receive here in the first half. That means it will be Grand Oaks' choice in the second half. And they will, the Indians will defend the north end zone. There is a stiff, pretty stiff breeze blowing out of the south tonight. And it will be a contributing factor in the game, no doubt. Flags are pretty much standing straight out this evening. We'll be underway here momentarily. Thank you for joining us for tonight's contest. I mentioned the ramifications of that game tomorrow night. Right now, Conroe and Willis are trying to get into the playoffs. There's one spot left. Oak Ridge, New Caney, and the Woodlands are in the playoffs. And it's up to really it'll get, depend on tomorrow night's game as to whether it will be Willis or Conroe that makes it into the playoffs. And again, that will be largely determined by tomorrow night's contest here at Wood Forest. Chapman doing the kicking honors for Grand Oaks tonight. Medina and Perkins back for the Indians. He'll be, as I said, he'll be kicking with a pretty stiff wind uh, with the uh, advantage of a pretty stiff win. Good high kick. And as expected, it'll hit halfway in the end zone and go out the back of the end zone. So the Indians will have the ball brought out to the 25 yard line and that's where we'll start off. Again, appreciate you joining us tonight. No playoff ramifications with this contest, but these are two very, I think, equally matched programs. Should be a fantastic game. In the shotgun, looking to throw, being pressured, still looking to throw, got his man downfield, throwing deep. Underthrown, almost intercepted, almost intercepted and dropped. Spencer on the throw for the Indians. Underthrew his receiver, really should have been intercepted. It'll be second and 10. Two receivers each side. Spencer looking to the sideline for a play. Empty backfield. A little bit of a, help, a quarterback keeper, a fake. Fooled some of the defense. He's running down the sideline to 50, 45, and out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Good fake there. Was able to get the Grizzly defense to bite on that fake. Kept the quarter, uh, Spencer kept the ball, picked up a nice gain around the right side all the way down. Looks like they're gonna mark it about the 38 yard line of the Grizzlies. Spencer in the shotgun with a full back behind him.
He'll hand it off. No, he'll keep it. Looking to throw. Got his receiver open. Caught around the 27-yard line. Taken off his feet around the 15. Indians making a, doing a good job of that uh, play action offense there. Estrada on the reception. That'll take it all the way down to the 15 yard line of the Grizzlies. Bradley on the tackle for the Grizzlies and just like that, the Indians are in the red zone. Same shotgun set, pull back. This time he'll hand it off. He's got a hole in the middle. He'll get about six yards out of it. Make it look at, look, they're looking at second and four. Let's see where they, where they spot the ball. We'll call it a long four. Cannon on the carry and Zamora on the tackle for the Grizzlies. Indians knocking on the door. 11.09, just underway here. Little handoff in the middle. He'll be hit behind the line of scrimmage and brought down for a loss. Big defensive play there. Garrison on the tackle for the Grizzlies. Broke through the offensive line. He'll lose about four on the play. We'll call it third and seven. Spencer, quarterback keeper, looking to the corner of the end zone. Got a man wide open, has his receiver, taken off his feet. Is that a fumble? No indication yet. I think they're gonna mark him down. That'll be first and goal. Martin on the reception, first and goal from the four. Bradley on the tackle for the Grand Oaks Grizzlies. 10.09 and counting left in the first quarter. Looks like Spencer's gonna go under center. Three back set now. They'll do a shift to a single back set. He'll hand it off. Ball on the ground. Picked up by the Grizzlies. Now we have a foot race. Out of bounds. Right at about the 44 yard line. Looked like he may have dropped the ball. But uh, hit. Hard hit just behind the line of scrimmage. Watching the replay here. Yeah. Looks like it never was a good clean exchange between the quarterback and the uh, running back. And a uh, big break for the Grizzlies here. Mertens on that uh, fumble recovery. Brings the ball back all the way to the 47 yard line of the Grizzlies and that's where they will take over first and 10. Outstanding defensive play there. Again, I'm not sure it was a good clean exchange between Spencer and his halfback. But uh, anyway, Grizzlies have the ball, handoff up to around the inside of Indian territory. Looks like they're going to give him about five out of the play. Howell on the carry for the Grizzlies. We'll call it second and a long four. And just like that, we have a change in momentum. 9.20 and counting left in the first quarter. As I mentioned, both of these teams, I think, are pretty equally matched. Should make for a great contest. Two receivers on each side. Looking to throw. Got his man open in the flat. He loses one tackler, going down the sidelines, go out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Browse on that reception. Smith is our quarterback tonight. Grant Smith is your quarterback tonight for the Grizzlies. They're sitting first and 10 at their own, at the uh, Indian 25 yard line. And like, like I said, just, just like that, we have an immediate change in momentum. Smith in the shotgun. Put a man in motion. He'll fake it. Hand it off to his halfback. He's looking for some room. He'll lose a few tacklers and will be brought down for about a two-yard gain. They'll make it second and eight. Frazier on the carry for the Grizzlies.
in the shotgun, snap back, looking to throw. Got his receiver. Goodness gracious, look at that. Down to the 10 yard line, hit his initial receiver in the hands, and then it became a tip drill. He was hit, ball flew up in the air. Secondary receiver caught it, takes it down to around the 11 yard line. That's a lot on the reception for the Grizzlies. That's why we do the tip drill. Sims on the tackle for the Indians. And now the Grizzlies are in the red zone. No score, just under over eight minutes left. Hand off around the le right side, left side. He'll get a couple out of it. He'll make it third down and about eight, we'll call it. Frazier again on the carry for the, for the Grizzlies. Seven forty-four and counting left in the first quarter. Grizzlies now in the red zone. Some two receivers out on the left far side. Hand off. Luden tacklers got some room and he scores. Frazier on that carry. Good. Open the offensive line for the Grizzlies opened a huge hole. And then it was just a matter of maneuvering through the tacklers, made it into the end zone. Going for two, and he will not make it. So our new score with 725 left in the first quarter, Grizzlies six, Indians zero. Yeah, it looked like the uh, Indians were getting ready to take it into the end zone or the other end zone for a touchdown. That big fumble recovery by the Grizzlies brought it back, brought it out to around the 48 yard line. And then in just a short series of plays, the Grizzlies have put it in the end zone and lead this one six to nothing. This could be one of those games where the team that scores last will be the team that wins. The Indians were moving the ball quite well on their initial offensive possession. Just got down there close, made that mistake. The Grizzlies were able to capitalize it, or capitalize on it. Medina and Perkins back again for the Indians to receive. Chapman again doing the kicking honors for the Grand, for the Grizzlies. And again, he'll be kicking into that stiff, or kicking with that stiff breeze blowing out of the south. High kick. Looks like it'll be fielded just outside the goal line. He's gonna bring it out. Up to the 15, 20, got some room. Taken off his feet on an upended around the 24 yard line. Good open field tackle there. Bradley on the tackle for the Grizzlies. Good open end or open field tackle, upended him. And that's where the Indians will take over, trailing this one six to nothing. Ball sitting almost on the 24 yard, or 24 yard line. Spencer, your quarterback, and that shotgun. Three receivers on the far side, one in motion now. He'll hand it off to him. We won't call that a jet sweep, but a sweep. He'll be taken off his feet around the 28-yard line, and as a flag comes in. Looks like it might initial indication was a holding call. We'll see. Still no indication they're marking it off, but I believe, yes. Holding, Holding is our indication. That'll put the ball back on the 15 First yard down. line. Repeat the down.
with this being the final game of the season for both teams, I suspect the bands and cheer squads will be getting into this one for sure. Spencer in the shotgun. He'll hand it off, looking for the corner. Got a little bit of room, eludes a few tacklers, gets it out to about the 20, 21 yard line. Howell on the carry for the Indians. We'll call it second and 14. Looking to throw, got his man open, overshot him. Had him open, little slant in pattern. Just off target a bit. That'll make it third and 14. I think Spencer was hoping or thinking he was gonna run a little bit deeper slant. Why the ball flew high. Third and 14. Looking to throw, looking to throw, looking to the sideline, gonna throw deep on the sideline, had his man open, just missed him. Had a step on the defender. Ball thrown out in front of him. That'll bring up fourth down in a kicking situation for the Indians. Alvarado, the intended receiver for the Indians on that one. Again, Spencer just a little off target on those last two passes. Ruben Mendez doing the punting for the Indians tonight. Good snap, a little bit of pressure. I think that ball might have been partially blocked. It'll hit around the 35 yard line, take a little bit of an Indian bounce, be down around the 38. So the uh, Grizzlies will get outstanding field position. We'll have an official timeout. Correction on the punter, that was Angel, Angel Del Cid doing the punting. Grizzly football sitting on the Indian 38 yard line. Grizzlies leading this one six to nothing with 6.02 left in the first quarter. Looking to throw, looking to throw, lots of time. Gonna throw deep on a post pattern. Incomplete. Browse, the intended receiver. Again, Grant Smith doing the quarterbacking tonight for the Grizzlies. In the shotgun, looking to throw, looking to throw, plenty of time, being pressured, and he'll be taken off his feet and taken down for a sack right back at the 45 yard line. I'd call that a coverage sack. Could not find an open receiver. Harrison, we'll give Harrison the honors on that coverage sack. That'll make it third, at about 15. School board says 16, we'll call it a long 15. Indians putting up a good defensive stance here after that turnover, or that punt, I should say, that short punt. Throwing it back. Looks like you're gonna try a little delay pass there, and it got a little bit of yardage. It looks like they'll bring it, it'll still be short of the first down, all the way down to about the 35 yard line. Wouldn't call that a delay screen. 
Grouse again on the reception. It'll be fourth down, four down territory for the Grizzlies. They'll keep their offense out on the field. Fourth and six. Little bit of a delay there. Looking to throw, looking to throw. Got his man open and up in the flat. Penalty flag goes down. Got his tight end on the reception. Looks like he'll have enough for the first down, but let's see what the penalty flag says. Roop on the reception for the Grizzlies. Looks like it'll be against the Grizzlies. In on the receiver downfield. Offense, number 14. That'll fourth push down. him back four, five yards and they'll repeat fourth down. Illegal, illegal uh, thank you, Milton. <laughs> illegal receiver. I, I hate to say receiver because it was probably an offensive lineman that made it down field too far. T typically who that's get called on those. Typically an offensive lineman, they call him receiver, but like I said, typically it's an offensive lineman. Number 14, we can look that up and check for sure. Smith in the shotgun. Got his man open, just overshot him, just overshot him. Had a couple of steps on his defender. And that will turn the ball over on downs to the Indians. Wooten, the intended group, the intended receiver for the Grizzlies. All right, the Indians taking over now. The ball sitting on their own 39-yard line. They're trailing this one six to nothing with 3.59 left in the first quarter. Spencer looking to throw, going to throw down the sideline. His receiver steps out of bounds. That'll bring up second and 10. Spencer trying to get on target tonight. Back, hand off. No, he's going to keep it around the end. Trying to lose some tacklers. Still on his feet. Be taken off his feet around the 42-yard line. Dodge on the tackle for the Grizzlies. Yeah, that earlier play 14 sounds like probably an ineligible receiver. Or a receiver that probably a... Anyway, too many men downfield. Third, and we'll call it seven for the Indians. The Indians had a very good initial series. Got down all the way to about the four yard line. Turned it over. Little jet sweep here. Being pursued. Gonna break some tackles, still on his feet. Will be taken down around the 45, 46 yard line. Looks like they're gonna mark him right at the 46. He'll be short of the first down. Cannon on the carry. Moylan on the tackle for the Grizzlies. Indians have not sent their punting team out on the field yet. Looks like they're gonna go for this. Final game of the season. Neither of these teams really have playoff expectations. Looking to throw, throw it out in the flat, got his receiver, and he'll get the first down. Up. See where they're marking. They're marking right at the 49 yard line. That'll be enough for the first down. Sims on the carry, or the reception and carry for the Indians. Keeps their drive alive. You might see these teams quite a bit going forward, forward on fourth down tonight. Indians first and 10 from the Grizzly 49 yard line, trailing it six to nothing. 223 left in the first quarter. He'll hand it off. 
Eludes tackler, still on his feet. Good solid gain, about nine yards on the play, all the way down to the 40-yard line of the Grizzlies. Looks like they're going to give him the 39. Cannon on the carry, just inside the 40. Looks like it's going to be about second and half a yard. We do have a penalty flag, though. I see. Is that a penalty flag? Looks like they're going to mark this one back. Holding. Offense, number three. Ten-yard penalty, first down. Holding call. Turned off to be a, uh, what would have otherwise been a very short gain needed for first down. Now it's going to be first and 20. Right now the Indians are hurting themselves, you might say. Turnovers and penalties. Looking to throw. The out pattern's got his receiver. It looks like he'll take it off, take it out of bounds right about the 49 yard line. They'll get 10 yards of that back. Sims on the reception. Looks like we're going to have second nine. Good 11 yard gain pickup on that play. Moves the ball all the way down, or moves it down to the Grizzly 48 yard line. 156 and counting left in the first quarter. Spencer's got three receivers on his right, one on his left, single halfback. Take a handoff up through the middle, eluding tacklers. He'll get about five yards out of the play. It'll make it third and five. Grizzlies getting a fresh set of players on the field. Ball now sitting on about the 43 yard line of the Grizzlies. Indians use a wide, a different range of formations on their offensive set. Looking to throw, ball hit at the line of scrimmage. Hit in the backfield, will fall incomplete. Good defensive play there. Brings up fourth down. And I'm sure the Indians will keep their offense on the field. Possession down. Fake handoff, looking to throw, looking to throw. Got his receiver open and he drops it. He'd have had enough for the first down if he could have held on to it. Ball will go over. The Grizzlies will take over. That was one looking at the replay where the receiver turned to run before he had the ball. See that quite often at all levels of the game. First and 10 Grizzlies on their own 43-yard line, leading this one six to nothing, 111 left in the quarter. He'll hand it off. He'll be hit at the line of scrimmage and taken down for no gain. Howell doing the carry for the Grizzlies. Inside of one minute left in the first quarter now, 50, 50 seconds and counting. This may very well be the final play of the quarter. Smith looking to throw, looking to throw, being pressured. Got his man out open in the flat, up to around the 50-yard line. Looks like he'll give him forward progress to the 48. That'll be short of the first down. And Brawley. Brawley the reception there for the Grizzlies. Kendricks on the tackle for the Indians. 
third and five. Hand off in the middle, a little bit of a hole. He's got good receiver down the, running down the field, down to around the 32 yard line. So Powell doing the carrying there for the Grizzlies. Good solid blocking by the offensive front for the Grizzlies. Gave him a nice hole. Good, penetra good uh, penetration by the running back all the way down to around the 31 yard line. And that will end our first quarter with our score, the Grizzlies six, the Indians zero. Yeah, I mentioned earlier that other game being played up in Conroe right now. The Conroe Tigers trying to stay in the playoff chase. Right now they're pretty much tied with the uh, Willis Wildcats for that final playoff spot. Oak Ridge, the Woodlands, and New Caney are all in the playoffs. They've secured their positions. Conroe and Willis are trying to ease into that final spot. And tomorrow night's game here at Wood Forest between Willis and Oak Ridge will pretty much de determine who takes that spot. But Conroe has to win tonight to stay in contention. Smith on a handoff, trying to find some room, will not get any. Looks like it'll be maybe a yard out of the play there. Howell on the carry. That Conroe College Park game, as I mentioned earlier, is also being streamed, live streamed tonight on the ConroeISDSports.net YouTube channel. And that's a must win for Conroe tonight. Smith in the shotgun. He'll hand it off. Good solid run there. He'll get about four out of the play. Howell again on the carry. We'll call it third and five. I don't, wouldn't say they're in field goal territory yet, especially with that pretty stiff wind out of the south blowing. He'd be kicking straight into it. Throw out into the flat, got his receiver down to the 18, 20, on his feet, going down the sidelines, good speed, ran it in the end zone. Browse on that reception. Good pass, well thrown, made the corner and just outran the defenders. Just used his speed to outrun the defenders. Waiting the extra point. Now they're going for two, it looks like. And they will score it. No flag, there is a flag on the play. Frazier on that carry, let's wait for the signal. He's looking toward the Indian sideline, so it must be against the, the uh, Grizzlies. Getting the coach's call or decision. Holding. Offense number 54. 10 yard penalty. Retry the down. Holding is the call. So with that, the Grizzlies will attempt an extra point. Ball back, kick down. A little bit of a delay, timing, made it through. <laughs> Barely, but it made it through, it counted. Grant Smith doing the kicking. Yeah, it looked like the 
snap back was delayed a little bit and, and an extra point like that, everything is a matter of timing. The kicker sits there and he does it again and again and again and again and again during practice. He knows exactly when he's supposed to leave to hit the ball. If anything is off time, it's gonna throw the kicker off, which it did. The snap back was a little, looked like the, the I'm not sure if it was a snap back or if the uh, fielder just put the ball down a little bit late, but whatever the case, it threw his timing off a little bit and he didn't get as much foot into it as he would have liked, but enough to make it through the crossbar or over the crossbar between the uprights. And our new score is the Grizzlies 13, Indians zero with 10.31 left in the half. Medina and Perkins back again for the Indians. Trailing this one again, 13 to nothing. Chapman doing the kicking again for the Grizzlies. He'll be kicking into a pretty, pretty stiff wind here. Be surprised if this one carries to the end zone, but we'll see. More of a low-hanging kick. Hit around the 15-yard line and roll into the end zone. Ball hit around the 10-yard line, it looked like. Took a good grizzly bounce, rolled into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 25, and that's where the Indians will take over, trailing this one 13 to nothing. Timeout on the field. Holding. Penalty on the on play. On the return team, number 40. That's a 10 yard penalty. First. Ten. That'll move them back to the 15 yard line for the Indians. Spencer in the shotgun. One back behind him. He'll hand it off. Make it around the corner. Get out to around the 22 yard line. Good solid five, six yard gain. Martin on the carry for the Indians. Merton's on the tackle for the Grizzlies. Good eight yard gain, almost nine. Second and two. Hand off again, looking for the corner, gonna stop, change directions, find a hole on his feet, going down the sidelines now up to the 40, 45, taking off his feet around the 49 yard line. Martin again on the carry, good solid carry there, brings up, moves the chains, brings the ball all, out all the way to the 49 yard line. Jaeger on the tackle for the Grizzlies. No flags. First and 10 Indians. Looks like we have a timeout now on the Indians. Just got an Astro score, they're one to one. Bottom of the second. We got a score in that contest up in Conroe. The uh, Tiger, Conroe Tigers and College Park Cavaliers are tied right now, six and six. All right, Indians take, continuing their drive here. Ball now sitting on their own 49 yard line, trailing this one 13 to nothing, 942 left in the half. 
Low snap, picked it up, handed off. Now he's going to keep it. Hit in the backfield, be taken down for about a two-yard loss. Spencer on that play action. Defensive front for the Grizzlies. Read it pretty, pretty well. Takes him down for that two-yard two yard loss. We'll make it second and 12. Grizzlies have played good defensive ball tonight. Gotten some breaks. I think the uh, old football saying is Ben don't break. Hand off, jet sweep, and he's oh, hit in the backfield, eluded some tacklers, get a little bit of a gain out of it. Martin on the carry. Looks like it's going to be an offside call against the Grizzlies. That should make it about second and seven. Offside, defense, number 41, five-yard penalty, second down. Someone didn't see anybody jump, maybe just simply lined up in the neutral zone. Three, four receivers on the near side. He's going to, oh, good, hard hit, taken down for a sack on a blitz there. Brian Tang getting that sack credit. I think that's our first blitz I've noticed tonight. That'll make it second and about 15 now. Third and 15, I should say. 8 17 and counting left in the first half. Grizzlies in uh, leading this one 13 to nothing. Snap back, looking to throw. Being pressured, got his receiver open. And his receiver made an outstanding, or I should say the defender made an outstanding play there, made up the distance, was able to knock the ball down. Mertens the, getting the credit there for that, uh, knocking that pass down. Ball took a long time to get there. I think if he'd have thrown it with a little more mustard, it would have been a completion, but it took so long to get there that the defender was able to uh, make up the distance and knock that one down. That'll bring out the punting team for the Indians. Grizzlies will send a couple of men back to receive. Mendez doing the punting, high snap, high kick. Hit right about the 28 and take a good Indian bounce, real good Indian bounce, roll all the way down to about the eight yard line, seven yard line, and that's where they'll take over. Good kick by Mendez there for the Grizzlies, or for the Indians. I think that wind's blowing a little harder now. He got the benefit of that wind too. He got it up in the air and <laughs> the wind caught it. And then when it took a good Grizzly bounce, rolled all the way down to the Grizzly seven yard line. Again, Grant Smith, your quarterback tonight for the Grizzlies. He'll hand it off. Eludes tacklers. Takes it all the way out to around the 15 yard line. That'll be short of the first down, but a good solid run on first down. Sepulveda on the run for the Grizzlies. We'll call it second and three. Broke a few tackles on that one. Two back set, man in motion. He'll hand it off to his initial back and he'll be taken down probably for about a no gain it appears. They'll give him prog forward progress to the line of scrimmage. That'll make it third and three. Williams on the carry for the Grizzlies. De La Rosa on the tackle for the Indians. 
Clock running now with six, inside of 640 left in the uh, half. Grizzlies will send two receivers out in the far side. Handoff in the middle, hit at the line of scrimmage. You'll get a couple out of it. Trying to push him forward through the scrum to get the first down. I think he will. I think they're going to give him forward progress all the way out to the 20-yard 20 20 yard line, which will be enough for the first down. No flags on the play. Sepulveda on the carry again. Clock continuing to run, just outside of six minutes left. Grizzlies leading it 13 to nothing. Snap back, handoff. Trying to make it around the end. He'll get a yard or two out of it. Looks like they're going to give him a yard, make it second nine. Sepulveda again on the carry. We have both bands and color guards performing tonight at a halftime. I mentioned all the seniors on the football team earlier, and that this being their final high school performance. Same will be true for the members of the seniors on the band, the color guard, drill teams, cheerleaders. Second nine, we have an early whistle and a flag. Looks like this one's going to be marked off against the Grizzlies. Probably an illegal procedure. Let's look. Ball start. Yeah. Offense, number 54. Ball start. Five -yard Somebody penalty. moved a little early. Second down. That'll make it second and 14 now for the Grizzlies. Both teams making quite a few mistakes tonight. Just outside of five minutes left now. Got his man open across the middle, threw a little bit behind him. Wasn't able to bring it in. That'll make it third and 14. Pass intended for Bradley, thrown a little bit behind him. He'd have had a lot of yardage in front of him if he'd been able to bring it in. Third and 14. Looking to throw, gonna roll out, got his receiver open out in the flat, caught up around the 20 and dropped again. Another one of those examples of wanting to run before you catch the ball. Gamendon, the intended receiver for the Grizzlies and that'll send their punting team out onto the field. Leading this one 13 to nothing with 452 left in the half. Indians will send a seat, single receiver back to field the punt. Chapman back to kick. Good toss, a good snap. Low kick. Take a good grizzly bounce. Looks like it's going to roll all the way down to about the 42-yard line. That's where the Indians will take over, trailing this one 13 to nothing. First and 10, Spencer in the shotgun. He'll hand it off. He'll be grabbed around the line of scrimmage, taken off his feet. Looks like they're gonna give him the line of scrimmage as forward progress. That'll make it second and 10. 
The Indians have some good, strong running backs, but the Grizzlies are playing excellent offensive, or I should say defensive front. Hard to believe the football season's almost over. Seems like only a few weeks ago we started. Spencer looking to throw. Ball will be hit at the line of scrimmage. Hit in the backfield, drop in complete. Make it third and 10. Brandon Martin getting credit for that knockdown. I understand the Astros are still tied one to one. Spencer in the shotgun, fake handoff, a little play action, looking to throw, being pressured, still on his feet. No receivers opens, he'll run out of bounds around the 41 yard line, 42 yard line. Might get a get yard out of it, it'll be fourth down. We'll see what the Indians are going to do here, trailing this one 13 to nothing with 346 left in the half and looks like they're gonna send their punt team out on the field. He'll be kicking with that good stiff breeze. Browse and Jaeger back for the Grizzlies to receive. Del Cid doing the punting now for the Indians. We have a whistle and a timeout. Timeout for the Indians. Dance cam, do we have anyone in the, in the uh, stadium tonight looking to put on some moves, bust a move? How oh, few? College Park crowd there, getting into it a little bit. All right, Indians back to punt. Grizzlies on the field here waiting to punt. High snap, brought it in. Pretty good kick. Caught, brought it, fielded cleanly around the 30 yard line. Good play there. That ball would have probably taken a very good Indian bounce. Instead, he fielded it cleanly. Jaeger on that reception, punt reception. I bet he probably saved them 20 yards fielding that ball like that in traffic. The last kick for the Indians took about a 20 yard roll. All right, Grand Oaks taking over on their 30 yard line here, leading this one 13 to nothing, 339 left in the half. Smith will hand it off to his halfback. He's got some room, breaking some tackles out to the 45, the 40, 50. Now he's on a, now it's a foot race. 20, 25, 15, 10, drop the ball. Will it be recovered? Let's see how they're gonna, how they're going to call this one. I think they're gonna say the field was re recovered by the Grizzlies anyway, but I think the ground calls the fumble. Ball all the way down to the 12 yard line. Wallace on that long, Run, broke through the line of scrimmage, eluded tacklers, then turned on the afterburner. First and 10 for the Grizzlies, now on their own, on the uh, Indian 12 yard line. Quick out pattern, out into the flat. He'll get a few yards out of it. Looks like they're gonna mark him out, mark him out at the nine yard line. Brawley, the receiver for the Grizzlies. 
Kendricks on the tackle for the Indians. Grand Oaks looking to extend that lead here, leading at 13 to nothing with 2.50 left. Plenty of time. 2.50 left in the half. He'll hand it off. Good hole. Hit around the seven yard line. Had a good hole there momentarily and then it closed. Wallace on the carry. Martin on the tackle for the Indians. Third down. Hard to see the ground, the marker, but I believe they can get a first down. It's hard to tell the angle we have here. Hand off again. Hit hard right at the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're going to give him at the five. Powell on the carry for the Grizzlies. It'll be decision time for the Grizzly coach, coaching staff here. Fourth down, they're leading at 13 to nothing. They can get a first down. Looks like it's about four and I'd say a long four. Do not see the kicking team coming out onto the field. If the Indians can keep them out of the end zone, it would definitely be a moral victory right here. Keep the game a little bit closer for them going into locker room at halftime. Looks like the Grizzlies might be going to wait and call a timeout before the 25-second uh, clock runs out, which they do. So we'll have to wait and see what their decision is going to be. They may have just been letting some of the clock run off before the end of the first half. Their defense has been playing really well tonight. Again, 119 left in the half. Fourth down, the ball sitting on the five-yard line of the Indians. We'll have to wait and see if the Grizzlies send out their field goal team or leave their offense out there. My gut is that they're probably going to leave the offense. We'll see with the ball being so close to the end zone and that huge scoreboard, scoreboard blocking the wind. 15-yard field goal would be a chip shot, but we'll see. Looks like they're going for it. Again, they can make a first down. They'll send three receivers out to the near side. In the shotgun. Fake handoff, throwing to the middle and overshoot, overshoots his receiver. Looking for his tight end on that play. Just a little bit too much, much, too much mustard on it. Went over his hands. Tedder, the intended receiver for the Grizzlies. The ball will go over on downs. A little bit of a moral victory there for the Indians. 115 left in the half. Had him open, just a little bit too much mustard, as I like to say. Tight end had the height advantage on the uh, defender on that one as well. First and 10 Indians on their own five yard line. They got 115 to work with here in the first half. Spencer going back to throw, being pressured, being pressured. Gonna throw the football down the field as far as he can and overshoot his receiver. Good defensive play there too, defender running with him stride for stride. Kid threw that ball every bit of 50 yards. Good strong arm. Make it second and 10. Didn't take much time off the clock, only 107 left. Looking to throw, being pressured, being pressured. That'll be a safety. Penalty flag on the play. We've got to see what the penalty flag is. That might be a face mask. We'll see. 
I thought I saw an initial indication of a face mask. We'll have to look and see. No indication yet. My spotter up here in the press box said she saw it. It was, it was a face mask. Takes the ball all the way out to the 20-yard line. It's good when you got a spotter that can spot a face mask that far away. Personal foul, face mask, defense, 15-yard penalty, first down. That'll keep the, uh, keep the drive, if you want to call it that, for the Indians alive here. Trailing this one 13 to nothing. Good defensive stand there just a few minutes ago by the Indians. Spencer looking to throw, looking to throw, going to look, look deep, got his receiver, he's well protected, and knocked away. Threw it into a crowd. Bradley doing an outstanding play there, really taking a jump ball, knocking it away. Make it second and 10. 56 seconds left in the half now. Three receivers on the near side, two on the far. Empty backfield, looking to throw. Quick out pattern, caught around the 23, up to uh, still on his feet, be taken down around the 26, 27 yard line. Gonna be short of the first down and the clock will continue to run, taken down inbounds. Indians in their hurry up offense here. Cannon on the reception there. Looking throw, same pass, same pattern. Ooh, hard hit there. It'll be enough for the first down though. That will move the chains. Cannon again on the reception. Again, looked like the same play. A go on the tackle for the Grizzlies. Again, the Indians in their hurry, hurry up offense. Only 20 seconds left in the game, in the half, first half. Gonna throw deep down the sideline. Got his receiver open, jump pass. Drop in complete. Got a flag on the play. Did not see what happened on that one. Pass interference is the in initial indication. 13 seconds left on the clock. Personal foul, face mask, offense, number three, 15-yard penalty. Now that is one you don't First see down. too often. First, face mask on the offense, and it occurred on that pass between the uh, receiver and defender. You don't see that too often, but it is a, <laughs> it's in the books as a penalty. That'll push the Indians back all the way to their own, looks like, 17 yard line and they'll call a timeout. Did not see the replay of that. 13 seconds left in the half. Indians trailing it 13 to nothing. Bottom of the third. Astros and the Phillies still tied up one to one. Sure love to see the Astros bring that one back home. Or, well, we guaranteed at least one game back home here in Houston. But it sure be lovely to bring them back with the Astros leading it three to uh, three to two. Again, both team, both bands and drill teams will be performing tonight, color guard. Both of these schools have very large bands. Encourage you to hang around for that. 
All right, here we go. 13 seconds left in the first half. Indians have the ball, trailing at 13 to nothing. Spencer looking to throw, being chased, being chased, and he'll be taken, still on his feet, broke one tackle, broke a second tackle, still on his feet, looking downfield, got a receiver, ball will be intercepted. All the way down to about the eight yard line. Bradley on that reception. That was one of desperation by Spencer and one that he'll probably wish that he had not thrown. Threw it on the run. Really did not able to get much into the pass. And that will end it. So our score after one complete half of play, the Grand Oaks Grizzlies 13, Indians zero. Again, please hang around for our halftime show. It'll be the final game performance for these two bands this year. They put a lot of work into this. They've been, they've been working since the hot summer, I'm sure, getting ready for these halftime shows. They'll be continuing, I suspect, in competition, but uh, this will be the last time they'll perform during a halftime show, and again, especially the seniors on both of these squads, their last halftime performance. Please honor them by hanging around and watching them perform. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number three, White. That penalty will be assessed on the second half kickoff.
Lieutenant Ashley Delafondo. Lieutenant 
our seniors. We love you so very much and hope you have the most amazing final football season performance. Last time, best time.
Okay, we'll st soon be starting the second half. Both teams are in the uh, in their tunnels, waiting to come back out onto the field. Outstanding halftime shows by both bands and drill teams and color guards. If I remember correctly, Cleveland won the toss in the first half and chose, made their choice to receive. It'll be Grizzly choice second half and they'll, I'm sure, take the ball. Not sure it would matter. Wind is a factor tonight. The Indians might choose to defend the end zone in the third quarter that will put them with the wind in the fourth, but we'll see. Haven't been any field goals tonight though. Grand Oaks will send their receiving team out on the field, leading at 13 to nothing. Mendez will be kicking off here to begin the second half for the Indians. He'll be kicking into that pretty good breeze. Flags not standing out quite as much as they were at the start of the game. Still a pretty good breeze coming out of the south, southeast. Looks like he's going to be a bit of a pooch kick here. We'll see. That's what it is. He fielded up around the 25-yard line, 26, brought up to 35, 40. Still on his feet, gonna try to make the corner. Pushed out of bounds around the 45 yard line. 
Good run back there by the Grizzlies. Wallace on that run back. Perkins on the tackle for the Indians. Ball taken all the way down to the Indian 44 yard line. That's where the Grizzlies will take over, leading at 13 to nothing. Just underway here in the second half. Hear the Indian band in the distance getting into the game here. Be a little bit of a handoff. Good room. Breaks through the line into the secondary, taking it down all the way to the 40, looks like the 38 yard line of the Indians. Good, strong seven yard run. Wallace on the carry for the Grand Oaks. Make it second and we'll call it a long four. Nose of the ball sitting right on the 38 yard line. Sure the Grizzlies would love to add to that 13 point lead here early in the third quarter. It'll be handoff in the middle, good hold, good blocking, all the way down to the 25. Looks like they're gonna give him probably the 26, 26 yard line. That'll be enough to move the chains. That is indication. Grand Oaks moving the ball with authority now. Wallace again on the carry. Cannon on the tackle for the Indians. First and 10, ball now sitting on the 26 yard line of the Indians. Smith, handoff, plenty of room out here. Taking off his feet right at the 20 yard line. Good five yard gain out of the play, almost six. Wallace again on the carry. Martin on the tackle for the Indians. We'll give him, we'll give him six on the play, make it second and four. Grizzlies trying to make this a three score game. It'll be a handoff. He'll make it into the secondary, down to the 10, the five, and he'll go into the end zone for the score. Good, strong run there. Howell on the carry and the touchdown. Good blocking on the offensive front by the Grizzlies, opened up a hole, made it into the secondary, eluded tacklers. There is a penalty flag, flag on the play, however. Looks like it's gonna come back. Holding, offense. Holding is the indication, spot foul. See where they're gonna mark it. Ten yard, second down. Ten yard, ten yard penalty. Still waiting for the ball to be marked. Looks like the officials are talking about it. I bet they're talking about is it a spot foul or marked from the line of scrimmage? Let's take a look here. Looks like they're gonna mark it off from the line of scrimmage. No, it would be a spot foul. That'll take the ball all the way back to the 45 yard line of the Indians. Big penalty, big penalty against the Grizzlies there. That'll make it second and forever. Not quite. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense, number 53. That will be a 15 yard penalty, second down. Well, that explains it. All right, two penalties. End result is the ball placed all the way back at the 45 yard line of the Grizzlies. Scoreboard says second and 29. Looking to throw, plenty of time, plenty of time, gonna roll out, looking down the sidelines and be thrown out of bounds right at about the 49 yard line. 
We'll call that a coverage sack for the Indians. Good heads up play there. Lewis on that uh, tackle for a loss, we'll call it. That'll be third and probably 31 now. Ball now all the way back at the Grizzly 49 yard line. They were sitting real good, had the ball on the uh, Indian 26. First and 10, now they're all the way back on the 49, your own 49 yard line. Looking to throw, no pressure. Gonna throw deep, got his receiver open. Caught, 10, five, touchdown. Got behind his defenders. Browse on the, on the uh, reception for the touchdown. Good long toss by Smith. Found his receiver behind the defenders. He could have probably thrown it another five yards further and caught him in stride, but still a touchdown. Waiting the extra points. Gonna be taken off his feet for a sack. Trying to go for, here's a replay. He just threw that ball as far as he could send it. Caught his receiver into the end zone. That'll make it a three score game for the Grizzlies. Indians will send their picking off receive team. Receive team out into the field. Chapman again doing the kicking honors for the Grizzlies tonight. He's got a good win behind him now. Medina and Cannon back to receive for the Indians. Nine forty left in the third quarter. Kind of a low kick. It'll hit, roll into the end zone for the touchback. So the Grizzlies, our new score, Grizzlies 19, Indians nothing. 9.40 left in the third quarter. Indians will take over on their own 25 yard line. Astros uh, still ahead of the Phillies, two to one in the bottom of the fifth, I just heard. All right, Spencer in the shotgun. Cleveland trying to get something going here on offense, trailing at 19 to nothing. Two receivers near, one on the far. He'll hand it off to his halfback. He'll be hit at the line of scrimmage and taken down for about a one yard gain. Martin on the carry for the Indians. Called it second nine. back looking to throw out into the flat and overshot his receiver. Medina the intended receiver. Make it third and nine. Indians just have not had been able to sustain anything on offense tonight. Had a good initial drive got down to about the four yard line and then fumbled it away. Spencer, quarterback keeper. He'll make it to the uh, corner, going it down the sidelines. Good, strong run out to the 40-yard line. That'll move the chains. 
It'll be first and 10 for the Indians at their own 40 yard line, trying to keep this drive alive, trying to put some points on the board. No penalties on the play. Looks like they're gonna mark him out of bounds around the 42 yard line. Kind of early, but already seeing some players out there with hands on their hips. Looking to throw, a little quick out. Trying to get to the line of scrimmage and he won't make it. He'll be brought down for a loss. Good pursuit there by the Grizzly defense. Martin on the carry for the Indians. Will give some more of the tackle credit there. Spencer in the shotgun, another quick out, low pass, but scooped up by the receiver going down the sidelines. He'll go out of bounds. Looks like they'll probably mark him where at, about the 45 yard line. That'll be enough for another Indian first down. Sims on the reception for the Indians. Now in Grizzly territory, nose of the ball sitting right on the 45 yard line, first and 10. Two receivers near, three on the far. Looking on that little quick out again, down to the 40, 35. Looks like they're gonna probably give him credit up to about the 34 yard line. He'll be close to the first down. Medina, the receiver there. And it looks like they're gonna give him credit for the first down, move the chains, it'll be first and 10. Ball now sitting on the 34 yard line of the Grizzlies. Grizzlies leading at 19 to nothing. 7.49 left in the third quarter. Same pattern, same, probably the same play. A little quick out, he'll get good yardage out of it again. Another first down. Looks like the Grizzlies are gonna need to make some adjustments here. I do see some substitutes coming back in. Martin again on the reception. That'll put the ball all the way down to the 16 yard line of the Grizzlies. First and 10 for the Indians. Now in the red zone. Indians desperately wanting to put some points on the board. Looked for that quick out, being pressured. Now gonna throw the, the out, I wouldn't call it a quick out, more of a delay down at that point. He'll get about three yards out of it. Came back to him, looked at him initially, wasn't open. Scrambled around a little bit, looked back out there again, and there he was. Martin on the reception. They'll get about four out of it. Call it second and six. Merton's on the tackle for the Grizzlies. The Indians have three receivers on the near side, two on the far. Man in motion. Quarterback keeper got room up the middle. Good block, still on his feet, taking off his feet around the six yard line. Be close to a first down. Looks like they're gonna call it uh, third. Third and very short. Third and about a, half of, about a half a yard. A go on the tackle for the Grizzlies. Third and one. Handoff, hit at the line of scrimmage. I don't know. Looks like the initial indication is going to be fourth down. Looks like they're going to give him a one-yard loss on the play. That'll move the ball back. Ball now sitting on the seven-yard line. Kind of hard to tell. That's right there where the uh, soccer field lines are drawn. Looks like a foul on the seven yard line. Fourth down and fourth, fourth and three. Looking to throw, looking to throw, being pressured. Gonna scramble, looking toward the sideline. Still on his feet. Be taken down for the loss and the ball will go over to the Grizzlies. Couldn't find a receiver, we'll give him coverage sack, coverage sack on that one. Brad, we'll give Bradley the tackle, but it was uh, several players in there for the Grizzlies on that hot pursuit. Bring him down for the loss. And the ball will go over to the Grizzlies, leading at 19 to nothing, 536 left in the third quarter. 
Ball sitting on the 23-yard line of the Grizzlies. First and 10. I think that was second deepest penetration by the Indians tonight. Grizzly defense stiffened. Hand off. Good pursuit by the Indians. He'll be taken down for a loss. Looks like they're going to mark him all the way back to about the 13-yard line. That'll make it second, about 14 for the Grizzlies. Leading it 19 to nothing. Wallace on the carry. Good pursuit there by the Indian defense. Got to give these kids credit. Final game of the season. No playoff uh, pitcher for either team. But they're playing hard. Both, both sides of the ball. Call it second and a long 14. Looking out. Can't find his receiver. Try to hit his tight receiver in the over across the middle. Ball dropped incomplete. Call it third and 14. Browse, the intended receiver for the Grizzlies there. That was a play that just didn't look good from the beginning. Good penetration by the Indians. We'll be moving into the playoffs next week. There will be a playoff game here at Wood Forest. More details will be, I'm sure, shared about that tomorrow night by Jackson Cochran when he delivers the commentary for the Willis Oak Ridge game. Smith on the toss. Ball will thrown a little bit behind him. Ball will drop incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down, and I'm sure the Grizzlies will send their punting team out onto the field. Chapman back to punt for the Grizzlies. Again, he'll have a good breeze behind him. He'll be kicking from his own goal line. Medina back for the Indians. Good toss. Plenty of time. Kind of a low kick. It'll take a good Oak Ridge bounce. Bounce. Keep continue to roll all the way down to about the 31-yard line. Good, good, good solid kick there by Chapman for the Grizzlies. I mentioned Oak Ridge, that's the game tomorrow night, Oak Ridge and Willis. The one that will determine if it's Conroe or Willis that makes it into the playoffs. Again, that game will be streamed on the ConroeISD.net YouTube channel. Spencer in the shotgun. And we have a whistle and a flag. Looks like the 25 second clock ran out of time. That'll push him back five yards. False start. Offense yeah. number 77. Five yard penalty, first down. False start is the indication. I glanced over at the 25 second clock. It had already reset. Same penalty, five yards. First and 15. Hand off in the middle, got a big hole there on his feet, running down the middle of the field, all the way down to the 48 yard line. Good solid run there by the Indians. Cannon on the carry. Curley on the tackle for Grand Oaks. First and 10. Another handoff. Hit at the line of scrimmage and he'll get no gain out of the play. Looks like where they're gonna mark is a uh, forward progress. Cannon again on the carry. Diggs on the tackle for the Grizzlies. They'll give him a loss of three on that, make it third, a second and 13. 
after that long initial run, the Grizzly defense stiffened there. Little toss out in the flat. Caught by the receiver, taken off his feet around the 48, 49 yard line. Cannon again on that reception and run. That'll bring up third and we'll call it six. Grizzlies appear to be going to their hurry up offense. Spencer in the backfield. Shotgun, snap back. Quarterback keeper, hit in the backfield, broke a tackle and get the ball down to around the 44 yard line. I think he's gonna be short of the first down. We'll have to see where they mark it. It'll be fourth and one. Definitely in a four, uh, four down territory here at this point of the game. Trailing this one by three scores. 19 to nothing, 247 left in the third quarter. Grant on the tackle for the Grizzlies. Possession down here for the Indians. Two receivers on the far side, one on the near. He'll hand it off to his halfback. Okay, he will get the first down, go off his feet, down to around the 40 yard line. Looks like they're gonna mark him right at about the 41. That'll be enough for the first down and we'll move the chains. And the Indians will retain possession and keep their drive alive. Trailing at 19 to nothing, trying to put, get that uh, zero off the scoreboard. Cannon again the carry for the Indians. Spencer looking at the sideline for the play. Two receivers on each side now, single halfback. He'll go in motion. Looking to throw, looking to throw, deep post pattern. Got his man wide open and he will walk into the end zone. Busted coverage there by the Grizzlies. Sims on the reception for the Indians. 40 yard, 41 yard pass completion by the Indians. Takes that zero off the board. They'll send their extra point team out onto the field. Exactly two minutes left in the third quarter. Third quarter. Looks like they're gonna go for two. Looking to throw, looking to throw. Got a receiver out in the flat. Got his receiver. Can he make it to the end zone? They will give him credit, yes. Hit around the one yard line and was able to pull his defender into the end zone for the score. Cannon again on the reception and the run. Yeah, he was hit, a, broke a tackle, made it to the one and was able to drag the defender into the end zone with him. So our new score with exactly two minutes left in the third quarter, Grizzlies 19, Cleveland Indians eight. Still quite a bit of football left to be played here. Makes it a two score game. Astro still leading two to one, I understand. Bottom of the fifth. Bradley and Wallace back to receive for Grand Oaks. Looks like it'll be another pooch kick. No, an onside kick. Ball live. It's already been touched by Grand Oaks player and recovered by Grand Oaks. Hurley on the reception for Grand Oaks. That was a good heads up play. Ball doesn't have to go 10 yards for the offense to fall on it. But uh, Curley hit the ball, fortunately for him, he knocked it back away from wherever the, uh, from the Indian players and was able to fall on it himself. He wasn't caught off guard, I'll tell you that. He wasn't surprised, good uh, heads up play there. All right, here we go, hand off in the middle. Big hole, big hole. Run down all the way to about the 26 yard line of the Indians. That was, that was a great call by the Indian coach. 
that onside kick. I think it did catch most of the Grand Oaks kick receiving team off guard, but uh, luckily one heads up player was able to recover it. Sepulveda on the run there for Grand Oaks. Didn't see a penalty flag. Looks like there's an indication. Yeah, offsides. Offside. That'll bring it back. Defense. Now take that Number back. Number 44. That penalty is declined. Offsides First down. on the Indians. That will be declined. Make a good run. Grand Oaks will continue their drive. Ball now sitting on their Indian 26-yard line. Leading this one 19 to 8. Trying to answer that score the Indians just made. Smith back, he'll hand it off. He'll try to make it to the sideline and probably gonna lose about a yard. Make it second and 11. Wallace on the carry. Second and 11, 113 left in the third quarter. Grizzlies trying to answer that score. Ball on the Indian 27 yard line. Second and 11. It'll be a handoff. He'll be hit around the uh, 25 yard line, taken off his feet. Looks like they'll give him about three on the play. That'll make it third to about eight. Wallace again on the carry for the Grizzlies. Indians trying to get the ball back here. Crawl, crawl back into this game. Third and eight. Little misdirection play there. Indians read it, hook, line, and sinker. Brought for a loss. Push the ball back to about the 28, 27, 26 yard line. It'll be fourth and 10. Decision time for the Grizzlies, and they will call a timeout. And that'll actually end, end the third quarter. So our score after three complete quarters of play, the Grizzlies 19, the Indians eight. It'll be fourth and 10 for the Grizzlies when we start the fourth quarter. Appreciate everyone joining us tonight. It's been a good game. Like I said, neither of these teams really have playoff intentions or hopes. Both teams playing hard. As people like to say, for love of the game. All right, fourth and 10. Grizzlies have their offense out on the field. Looking to throw, looking to throw. Got lots of time, got his receiver in the end zone, throwing it into a crowd. Two receivers look like they ran the same pattern there. Typically that doesn't what you, isn't what you wanna see. Ball drops to the ground incomplete. Indians will take over. Still plenty of time left, 11.55 left in the contest. But the clock is beginning to run out on the Indians. They need to, uh, they need to score here pretty quick. Of course, Grand Oaks would love to shut them down. Ball now sitting on the 26 yard line of the Indians. Spencer in the shotgun. He'll fake a handoff. 
be hit in the backfield and taken down for a loss. Good, solid penetration there by the Grizzly defense. He'll lose a couple out of it. We'll call it second and 13. Good penetration there by the defensive front for the Grizzlies. Four receivers on the far side, one on the near. Spencer looking to throw, quick out to the flat, overshot his receiver. Eleven thirteen left in the contest. Four receivers on the far, one on the near, looking toward the near side of the field. A little bit of a timing pattern through the pa pass, a little quick through the pass, well before the receiver had made his cut. Ball drops to the ground incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down in a punting situation for the Indians. Pass intended for Sims. Unusual. That looks like they're gonna. Ball's live ball. Now they're gonna rule it incomplete. Looked a little bit like a trick play there, almost like something you'd run on an extra point. Run for two on an extra point. And the Grizzlies uh, were not fooled. Do we have a penalty on the play? Uh, have a player down, I believe. Are tying his shoe. Some discussion on the field on that play. We'll try to see if there's, I don't see any penalty flags. Looks like they might be able, might gonna mark something off here. I think what happened it. Yeah. Dead ball, personal foul, 56 black, 15 yard penalty. There you have it, personal, personal foul called against the Grand Oaks Grizzlies. Now what's odd, he called it on the Grizzlies, but he gave Grand Oaks a 15 yard uh, ad. Now it looks like they're gonna move it and go the other <laughs> direction now. <laughs> All right. Now they're gonna mark it off the other way. I didn't see any of the Grizzly players trying to uh, correct them. <laughs> I'm not sure I would myself. That'll push the ball all the way back to about the 38, 37 yard line of the Indians. That's where Grand Oaks will take over first and 10. I'm sure they would, might have been telling me, oh, you got it right? <laughs> <laughs> Inside of 12 minutes left in the contest. 11.05. First and 10, Grizzlies. Again, the ball now sitting on the Indian 37 yard line. Grizzlies leading it 19 to 8. Got his receiver wide open and down the middle of the field. Taken off his feet around the 15 yard line. He uh, faked it to him in the backfield. Hit him on a straight, uh, wouldn't call it a deep pattern. Brawley on the reception there. I think that's the first time I've seen that play tonight.
Smith on the jet sweep, and he'll be hit at the line of scrimmage and take it off his feet. Good, excellent defensive play there by the Indians. No gain. He'll lose a yard, call it second 11. Howell on the uh, that strong hit there. Good textbook tackle. Second and 11. Ball on the 15. Another handoff. Down to around the 12 yard line. Be well short of the first down. Wallace on the carry for the Grizzlies. Spencer on the tackle for the Indians. Remind, reminder to join us tomorrow night for that contest here at Wood Forest between Oak Ridge and Willis. It'll determine who gets that final spot in the playoffs. Pass thrown incomplete over the head of his receiver. He was well covered on the play. Intended for Browse. That'll bring up fourth down. And looks like they may be sending their field goal team on, out onto the field. Be in the final game of the season. Give field goal to kicker a chance to opportunity to put some points on the board. Nunley out there to attempt the uh, field goal. Kick is up. 38 yard field goal. It is good. Adds three to it. Our new score, 22 to eight. Grizzlies favor. 909 left in the contest. Nunley just a sophomore, so he'll be kicking for a couple more years for the Grizzlies. Chapman doing the kicking here. I think I got that number right on that field goal. Taken off his feet around the 23, 24 yard line. The Indians will take over. Cannon on the, on the run back there. A lot of time left for the Indians. Two score game. Quick toss out into the flat. Trying to elude some tacklers and he won't do it. He'll be taken down for a loss. Grant on the tackle for the Grizzlies. We'll give him a loss of two on the play. Make it second and 12. Hand off, break through the line initially. Looks like he'll go for no gain. Cannon again on the carry, we'll call it third and 12. That may have been Chapman on that extra point. I'm, my apologies to him. I think Nun Nunley was the holder.
Third and 12. Looking to throw, being pressured. Did he scoop it? Yes. I'll give him credit for it, and that will be close to a first down. Medina on the reception. Receiver of the official looking at the spot and looking at the down markers. No indication yet. Ah, now they're going to mark him forward. First down, Indians. Indians trying to get back on the scoreboard here. Cut that lead. Being pressured, being pressured. Going to roll out. Looking, looking. Going to keep it. Run up the field. Get the first down and out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Good heads-up play there by Spencer. Couldn't find a receiver. Saw a lot of open field in front of him. Took it to the sideline, made the first down. Ball now sitting on the 45-yard line of the Indians, trailing it 22 to eight. Toss out in the flat again. He'll get up all around the in, inside of Grizzly territory. Looks like they're gonna mark him down around the 48-yard line. He'll be short of the first down, to make it third and short. Medina again on the carry for the Indians. Second down. We'll call it second and long four. Looking to throw. Got his receiver. Good open field catch there, taken off his feet down around the 23 yard line. Good pass, probably one of the best passes that Spencer has thrown all night. Sam's on the reception. Bradley on the tackle. He threw that ball where only his receiver could reach it. First and 10, ball now sitting on the 25 yard line of the Grizzlies. Little toss back, take it off his feet for, for a loss. Good defensive play there by the Grizzlies. He'll lose about five. Lund on the tackle for the loss. Looks like he'll loss, lose about seven. We'll call it second and 17. Good defensive play there by the Grizzlies. Indians needing to score pretty quick here, trailing it 22 to eight. We have a whistle and a flag. And it looks like they're gonna mark it off, probably an illegal procedure call against the I'll Indians. Start. Offense, Fal number 75. False start. Five yard penalty, second down. That'll push the ball back to the 37 yard line, make it about second and 20. 22 is what the scoreboard says for the Indians. Pressured, pressured. Ball loose on the ground. Who's got it? Looks like Cleveland, one of the offensive linemen, was able to recover that ball. That'll make it third and about 22. No gain on the play. DeMarco recovered that ball for the Indians. That could have been the ball game right there. Third and 22. Of course, the Indians are in four down territory right now. Put toss into the flat, and they have ran that play so much tonight, I think that the uh, Grand Oaks is actually expecting it. He'll lose another five yards out of the play. That'll bring up fourth down. Lund on the tackle for a loss, no doubt. Well, looks like they're gonna, they're gonna punt. With 442 left in the contest. That's a little surprising call. Rouse and Jaeger back to receive for the Grizzlies. We have a whistle. Timeout by the Grizzlies. 
Dale Sid doing the kicking, punting for the Indians now. Grizzlies call timeout and say, well, let's think about this one now. 425 left in the game. Just got an update. The Astros are still continue to lead the uh, Phillies two to one at the bottom of six. Sounds like Mr. Verlander are not able to watch the game right now, but I suspect based on that score, he's still in there throwing, doing his, working his magic. And college and the uh, game in Conroe, Conroe's ahead of that one, 32 to 13. That will set up a big match again tomorrow night here at Wood Forest between Willis and Oak Ridge. If uh, Willis should upset Oak Ridge, it'll put them in the playoffs. But if Oak Ridge beats Willis, it'll put Conroe in the playoffs. I believe that's how it goes. All right, here we go. And it's a fake and thrown for an incomplete pass. Well, that would explain why they went for it. <laughs> Ball will go over on downs to Grand Oaks. Pass was just a little bit too high. Great intentions, but just not quite there on the execution. I think if it had been down just a little bit, still had a lot of yardage to make up on that. I'm not too sure they would have made the first down on that, on that particular play, but typically what you might see on a short yardage fourth down play. First and 10 Grand Oaks on their own 46 yard line, leading this one 22 to eight with 422 left in the game. It'll be a little quick jet sweep, they like to call it. He'll try to get to the sidelines, get a couple of yards out of it maybe. We'll call it second eight. Browse on the carry for the Grizzlies. Ball now sitting on the 48 yard line. Second and eight. Clock stopped with 414 left in the game. Snap back, hand off. Got some room. Carrying some defenders with him into the secondary all the way down to about the 38 yard line, 37 yard line. That'll be enough for first down, move the chains and the Grizzlies will keep the ball. Keep the clock moving, 407, 406, moving in the game. Williams on the carry for the Grizzlies. This Grizzlies team has had their challenges this year. They had a coaching change about halfway through the season. Playing a good football game tonight. The Indians too have, have stayed in there. Hand off, penalty flag on the play. This one's probably gonna be coming back. Williams on the carry. See what our indication is. Waiting for a call. Offside, defense, number 20, five yard penalty, first down. And there's your call, offsides against the Indians. That'll make it first and five. Move the ball down to the 30, five yard line, just inside the 35. We'll call it the 34.
3.15, clock moving, left in the game. And another penalty, or another whistle. We're in an official timeout right now. We'll let the players regroup. We'll continue here. 3.08 left in the game. Players getting a little overexcited out there. We'll put it that way. Officials discussing the situation. Still discuss, discussing the play, former play. There were penalties on the play. I suspect probably going to be on both teams. Long discussion by the offic officials. 3.08 left in the game. A lot of activity that for them to... Uh, to discuss. Wanting to be fair to both both teams. Again, waiting for the officials to decide how to penalize these, uh, who to penalize and for what. Several, several flags on the play. Again, waiting for an indication. This might take a while just to uh, decide what to do. Appreciate your patience. <laughs> False start on the offense. It's a five yard penalty, replay the down. Dead ball, personal fouls on both teams. Number 34, white, and number 77, black, both disqualified. There you have it. Started off as a illegal procedure call against Grand Oaks, and then, like I said, spirits got a little bit out of hand. And uh, we'll continue with those personal foul penalties having been placed against both teams. I think the officials did the best they could in that situation. Both teams penalized. Again, final game of the season for both teams. Final game of the career for seniors on both teams. definitely an opportunity for both coaches entire coaching teams to coach up these players probably more of a life lesson learned for both teams in that last play here
So first and 10 for the Grizzlies. Ball now sitting on the Indian 39 yard line. Clock now running inside of three minutes left. Hand off, big hole into the secondary. Taken down off his feet around the 23 yard line. That'll be enough for the first down and we'll move the chains forward. Williams on the carry, Sims on the tackle. 237 counting. Again, at this point, I think the coaches are probably gonna take the safe route here and just try to end this game on a good sportsman-like note. Tension's high out there. First and 10. Grizzlies now on the Indian 22 yard line. Hand off. Hit at the line of scrimmage and driven back for a loss. Flag on the play. Williams on the carry. Typically, it looks like the initial indication will be holding against Grand Oaks. Holding. And that Offense. is our indication. Number 64, 10 yard penalty, first down. That'll move the ball back to around the 33 yard line of Grand Oaks. Repeat first down. Looking at first and about 22 now. Scoreboard says 20, we'll go with that. One fifty and counting left in the contest. Appreciate everyone joining us tonight. Don't forget that game tomorrow night that will decide who goes to the playoffs. Hand off. Breaking tackles, upended around the 19, 24 yard line. Good open field tackle there. That'll be a second down. Williams on the carry, it's gonna make it second about 11. De La Rosa on the tackle. 119 and counting left in the contest. Yeah, that game tomorrow night will determine if it's Willis or the Conroe that will make it into the playoffs. The other three teams are set. Conroe, I mean, correction, Oak Ridge, New Caney and Woodlands are all in. Snap back, handoff, no, quarterback, yeah, good handoff. Good play action there, but read well by the Indian defense. He'll lose a couple. Make it third and 14. I'll make it a long 13. Williams again on the carry. We have another whistle. Timeout by the Indians. 40 seconds left in the game. Appreciate everyone joining us tonight. Appreciate the band and color guard drill team for the Indians coming over, making the drive over from uh, Cleveland. Some of their faithful in the crowd as well. Yeah, Japson Cochran, one of our Commentators will be covering that game tomorrow night here at Wood Forest. Willis has got to win it. They want to go in the playoffs. Oak Ridge can play spoiler and put a fellow Conroe IST team in the playoffs but with a win. Spoiler for Willis, that is. Third and 13. Snap back, looking to throw. Going to throw to the corner of the end zone. Got his receiver. And that'll bring out a pass interference flag. Ball was underthrown. Defender had his back to the ball, did not see it. Continued to drive the receiver forward, and that'll bring out the interference call. 35 seconds left in the, in the contest.
Pass interference. Defense, number 15. 15 yard penalty. First down. Not sure that'll be enough for a first down. We'll look. We'll see here. It'll be an automatic first down, but or automatic first down. Ball now sitting on the 12 yard line of the Indians. So they can make a first down even though the chains don't show it over there. And what do we have, a whistle? run out that will be the end of our game our final score Grizzlies 22 Cleveland Indians 8 good hard fought contest appreciate you joining us tonight again don't forget about that contest tomorrow night I almost wish I was commentator for that game because it's going to be a great one Willis and Oak Ridge right here at Wood Forest Bank, St Bank Stadium will be streamed live streamed over the ConroeISD.net sports channel so if you can't come out to that game you can watch it on our live stream on YouTube. Again, our final con our final score tonight, Grand Oaks Grizzlies 22, Cleveland Indians 8. Thank you again, and have a great weekend.